Well, the cruise has uh, been a thrill. I think we've, we've done a couple at this point in our career. But this one falls at a time when uh, we've got quite a, a big story to tell and <laughs> that we've, we've arrived at our 25th anniversary. It's our silver anniversary, right? So Is that silver? I think everybody's yeah. supposed to bring Pewter. us like like some something silver on yeah. Saturday night. I think right? that's, we need to get that word out. Okay. <laughs> silver, silver. Gifts, what, just lay them gifts, at the foot of the stage. Just put them at the front of the stage, yeah. yes, exactly. But no, I mean, it's really thrilling to be at that point in our career. I mean, I guess I've only been in the group for 21. She's the baby. I joined on April Fool's Day, so let's just put that in there. Which makes um, a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, so I've been in the group for 21 of the 25, and we are like an old married couple. Only yeah. four people. I mean, we have been through so much together um, from, you know, the terrible 20s. That's what I call them. Um, to the not quite as terrible <laughs> Not 30s. so naughty 30s. Um, to the fun 40s. Yeah. Hey, stop it. I don't know. I just, <laughs> hey, then I'm we're just playing. Give away I'm just playing off are. of you. <laughs> yes. But we've traveled the world together on buses, on planes, and um, we have, we have, had our marriages, you know, all of us have shared that and our and families and um, so we really have been through so much and so many hills and valleys in the course of a career. Um, it's like yeah, we always say it's like it's like parents and children, brothers and sisters, and husbands and wives all kind of rolled into a big ball, you know, yeah. and and uh, and everybody, you know, roles shift around and different people represent different things, but it's it's pretty amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well, Peter really loves any of the happy hour that the happy hours that go on. <laughs> okay. What? Okay. No. Okay. Okay. We'll start again. No, no, no. We don't have to start again. I have been I have been enjoying the happy hours on this cruise a little bit more so than I normally do. I'm not a big you know I don't you know a lot. <laughs> you know that. But uh, but we will say that like yeah it, it it's it's just fun. I mean the whole event. I mean we look we're like we function as a group so it's really nice to have a little structure in our day where we know at 3 15 it's shuffleboard okay and it and at 5 30 it's waffles bingo and, uh, bingo and bourbon yeah is that bingo and bourbon. On this? it needs to happen if it's not a, an official <laughs> are you there I'm, if it's not an official activity it will be happening. yeah yeah but uh no it's fun and just uh just hanging with all these you know yeah. legendary people you're kind of Oh my gosh! There's you know every time you turn around you're like holy moly that's so and so and that you know, and we have been doing this enough that we know a lot of these people now, which is kind of fun and yeah. they and they seem to know a li at least a little bit about what we do, yeah. too, which is which is pretty cool. But this the, also the cruise is interesting because it's not like a jazz festival where people sort of scatter and the show uh, is over and everybody goes to their hotels and wanders off. I mean we really are contained in an environment. And so you get to mix in a, in a way yeah. that's so much more intimate and casual, and um, and that I think that's really great. And oftentimes as musicians, I don't think we always get to partake in all the aspects of a festival because we're either running t to, to various things day, or we're yeah. going on. So we are really here, and you get to go, wait, so next uh, tomorrow night I'm going to go hear Gary Burton, and then you know, I'm going to catch like the another set, another version of what – you know, Karen Allison is doing, or, you know, whatever. I mean, you just have time to have that, your own time to enjoy music, which is really, Pretty if rare. you ask any musician, um, how often do you go and, you know, hear music? We're always like, well, oh, I just haven't gone out, or, you know, I'm writing, or I'm just trying to catch up with my life. And so this is really a nice thing for, for a lot of us who, who don't get to do that. And I think that's what maybe the crew's, um, sets up for for everybody equally as well the, the passengers and the and the artists um, in terms of memorable events on cruises I think uh, we were on a, a cruise to uh, took a cruise through Norway uh, a few years ago the, beautiful fjords. It was a, the fjords of Norway it was it was pretty it was yeah. pretty out of control and um, it was a technically a classical cruise, and but they decided to open it up and kind of try something different, and so they invited us to do uh, to perform on that week. And and a bunch of us, we all, uh, some of us took our parents, uh, or, or or a parent, or you know, and families or whatever. And um, and uh, I took my dad, and um, 
and I, he has passed on since then. And I just remember, just, I am will forever be grateful that that I uh, got to share that share that time with him. Yeah, it was really amazing. I, I when I stepped on, on deck, um, I think that too was just you know, Charlie, came came full fledged, you know, to me too. And he just had a ball. I mean, he talked about it for uh, he talked about it forever. You yeah. Know? And it was a uh, it was a that that was certainly a, a special moment. Yeah, I yeah. think that those are really great things when we get to take advantage of some of the s opportunities we do. And we, you have to really seize the moment about what this crazy bohemian life that we lead and and make it work. And and uh, so it's really uh, that was a really nice thing. Yeah.